A very common question is how do I configure SMTP with resend? Also, another question, which is related to the first one, is how do I test my emails? Here, there is a video made by Zeno Rocha to integrate SMTP with resend. So I'm not going to replicate this exact video. You can find it into the comments if you want to set up the SMTP on resend. However, we are going to pass through this and I'm going to explain you first what is SMTP for those who don't know. SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. It's a standard protocol used in the field of email communication to send and relay email messages between email servers. The SMTP protocol is responsible for routing and delivering the email messaging from the sender's email client to the recipient's email server. First, SMTP is sending email. When you compose and send an email using your uh, email client, the email client is using SMTP to communicate with your email server and it submits the ongoing email messages to the SMTP server. Also, SMTP is doing routing and relaying. The SMTP server is responsible for finding the appropriate destination email server for the recipient email address. And actually, it does this by looking up to the recipient domain's email. For instance, me, it's codewithguillaume.com in the domain name system, DNS, that you already heard about probably, to find the MX mail exchanger, and we already saw that previously, which specify the email server responsible for receiving emails for that domain. Finally, the SMTP is responsible for delivery. Once the recipient email server is determined, the sending SMTP server establish a connection with the recipient SMTP server. Then finally, it delivers the email to the recipient inbox. On recent, there's also a huge page called SMTP service with the video that I showed you. So basically, you are going to configure your host, your port, your username, and the specification here is that the password, it's going to be your API key. So remember, when we go to the app on API key, here you can create API keys to actually access your recent instance and send email through your recent instance. So what you should do here is to create a specific API key for your SMTP and then you, go, you can use it actually as a password. You got to know that you can actually work with Django, Laravel, Nodemailer, Retool, Superbase, WordPress. If you are looking for more information, please go to the description. I just gave you the link to use SMTP with Resend. All right, let's pass to the part where we test our email. And which is cool is that Resend created addresses to test actually the status of your different emails. So here, as you see, I've sent different emails to those addresses because I was looking at it and I was like, okay, there is a delivery at recent.dev and a bounce at recent.dev. And here we can see that we've got those two emails that have been um, received and that have been marked as bounced and revealed. And I was like, okay, probably it's the same for every status that we've got there. And actually for clicked and open, it's not the case. I tried the addresses here, but for complain, it worked. And we can see that here I send an email that has been delivered to a special address. It's a website actually that helps you to track if your email is marked as spam or not. It's called email tester. So this is probably a topic that you are interested in. If you send email, you would like to know what is my rate. I'm using this email address right now that I created, which is here, no reply at codewithguillaume.com. And I would like to know if my email finishes in the spam folder. And I would like to know why, because probably I would change my email address, my current email address, or I probably would create a new one specific for it. So here, Let's say that no reply at codewithguillaume.com is burned, okay? I can't use it anymore. Well, probably I would create a new one called hello at guillaume, codewithguillaume.com, okay? So it happens often that you use an email address and you send so many emails, you have a behavior with it that makes that this email address is finally unusable and you would like to switch to it. It really happens often. So what you can do is to test your email. And emailtesterhere.com is going to tell me what is the rate actually of this email address. Is this an email address that is 
completely burned because I sent too many emails with, or can I use it again to continue to send my emails? So what I'm going to do here, I got an email address that has been actually generated by the website and I need to send an email to this email address. So I'm just going to copy paste this address and just paste it in here, right? So I'm going to send an email here through resend. Okay, I send the new email through uh, this address and now I'm going to come back and I'm going to click here on then check your score. And when I click to it, and there we go here, we see that I got a score of 8.8 .8 on 10 on my uh, mail tester uh, page. We can see that this is the email that I sent, hello world, I just sent it zero minutes ago. And here we can see click to view my message. So we can see here the HTML version. This is exactly the email that I sent through React email. Okay, and we also see my link. So this is clearly my address. We can see the reply to, and we can see here that I got a green check. Here we see spam assassin think you can improve. So spam assassin, it's a famous spam filter. You can go probably check it. And we got a lot of, um, uh, actually a lot of notes, uh, a lot of um, insights about my email. So we can see good reputation in here, but we've got a minus. We've got a problem of image, image with, um, that are too heavy actually. Uh, it causes a problem, right? You should write more text. Great, your signature is valid and it's coming from your domain name. Amazing. Great, your signature is valid, etc., etc. So we see that here on this tab, we got a lot of insights about um, what I could improve into this email. You're not fully authenticated. So here we see that we've got also other insights about my uh, public key, etc. We've got insight also on the domain name, on the host, and we see that my host is actually the server, the Amazon server. Your message could be improved, etc., etc. I don't get alt attribute, my content is safe. Okay, we, we didn't find short URLs, good. So here, this is a point because often we use short URLs. Your message does not contain a list unsubscribe header. And this is a real topic. We can see that directly on the recent uh, website we can create a header uh, that contains actually an unsubscribe list, unsubscribe key that will help us actually to give the possibility to unsubscribe to the email. You probably often see that in newsletter. Um, click here if you want to unsubscribe. Site got an automatic piece of code that is going to catch this line in the header and to put it as a link automatically. Um, also, you're not block listed, so could get a, lot, a big list of places where we could be actually blacklisted. And they said block listed, but me, I say blacklisted. So we see here that I'm good because everything is in green. And I don't get any uh, broker link except this link where I got my image, but this is not a problem. If you want to test your email, mail tester is amazing. It's fast and it's free. I highly recommend you to always test the validity of your reputation, especially if in your business you are going to use resend every day and you are going to send a lot of emails.